Teammates, I'd like to thank you for your time, understanding, and attention as we kick off your flight's annual EOD Safety Day. Our unique profession presents challenges that must be viewed from the lens of safety, awareness, and leadership. The collective value that each of you brings to the United States Air Force is immeasurable. You are our most treasured asset, and we cannot afford to lose you because of a lapse in safety or judgment. This is why we're directing Explosive Safety Stand Down Day for each of you to take a knee and refocus on the importance of safety to keep you and your team alive. You've not only earned some time off, you need it. This year, we've provided lesson plans and guidance in four primary areas. First, threat assessment mindset. Our future conflicts will not be the same as our past wars. We must take lessons learned and apply them to emergent threats outlined in the National Defense Strategy. Specifically, we need to highlight the application of threat assessment to operations involving first found ordnance items. Second, risk assessment. Risk assessment is something we do every day in every operation. Risks are also ever-changing as we look at training, equipment, personnel, time, and multiple other factors. We need to take the time to understand these factors and weigh them properly to take the right risks to accomplish our mission as presented. Sometimes more risk is needed, and other times the risks are unnecessary. Our goal is to bridge knowledge gaps that have been identified in the past years with the skills, equipment, and knowledge of today. Third, insensitive munitions and explosives. A continued and future challenge for EOD are insensitive munitions and explosives. As these items become more prevalent in the inventory and on the battlefield, we must be prepared to understand these items to meet the challenge of render safe destruction of IM and explosives. And finally, EOD culture. EOD team has always been at the forefront of our culture. We are a team who must trust and rely on each other in every aspect of our mission. To help build our team, we must focus our approach on mental health and readiness to resonate with the 95% of the career field who have not directly experienced combat. The challenges, both personally and professionally, that our EOD techs face today are different than those faced a decade or more ago. Budget cuts, low promotion rates, and felt lack of purpose are just a few hurdles that our airmen must navigate. With these focus areas, our emphasis this year is to work to continue building the positive, resilient, and cohesive culture that can withstand the seemingly endless training iterations while fighting relentlessly against complacency and mediocrity. At this current moment, our career field is most vulnerable to the plagues of toxic leadership, laziness, and stagnation. Yet we are the ones responsible for how we train, how often we train, and to what standard, nobody else. It's both a blessing and a curse as we're saved from the lesson plans written in blood, the immediate and intense after action reviews after the loss of a tech, and the constant tensions to offer the very best to represent us on the battlefield. Yet we are left to our own vices, then temptations of comfort with no immediate sense of urgency and trusted to shape, mold, and prepare our forces appropriately. It is up to each of us to step back and reflect on our leadership, mental health, expectation management, and doing what we say we're gonna be doing in full force training. Build the very best teams and team leaders. As we continue to prepare for the next fight, we must not cut corners or take unnecessary risks that outweigh the perceived benefits. We must strive to afford ourselves the utmost protection of our people, regardless of the operation. Take the time today to begin your discussions and reflect, but don't stop at the end of the day. We must all keep pushing. Your leadership, your focus, your skills, your knowledge, you are needed today and will continue to be needed tomorrow and the next day and the next. We must be safe and we must be ready for the conflict and wars that are coming. You are the most important asset we have. Thank you for being my teammate. Thanks for being you. I couldn't be prouder and more proud than I am to be a part of your team. Stay safe and be ready.